Hi, I'm Mr. Miyagi, and this is Mr. Miyagi's workshop. Well, yeah, the Delica is back in here. And I discovered a few problems with the roof. Um, after putting in a little furnace, I noticed, I went out to check it one day, and I noticed there was a lot of wetness down around the thermostat area. Oh, I, know, I didn't know where that was coming from. Well, I started doing some investigation, and I'll show you what I found. Yeah, bit of a hole up here. There's a couple of rough spots in the center, and there's even one small hole right there. And then on the other side over there, you can see that there's another hole I'm going to have to patch. So what I've done here is I've lined out an area and built a piece that I'm going to cut this out and weld this all back in there and hopefully that'll resolve the problem but it had been leaking for quite some time i got up here and this is what i found is that they had used some sort of this rubberized putty uh whatever this stuff is and I kind of knew that this is up here, but I didn't realize that it was that bad. And let's go look at the inside here. So I had to drop the headliner on it, which was kind of a challenge because you got to take the front one out to get the rear one out. And then I pulled back this uh, insulation here. Now there's a cross beam that goes across this area over here, which is over on the bench. And I'll take you over that. But yeah, there's another hole right there that I've got to figure out to plug. And then I'll do a small patch on that little hole there. But it had been leaking for a while, it looks like. So, and then I may end up having to pull that window out just so I can get a good feel on putting my clamps and everything in place while I weld this uh, piece back in. So let's go to the bench. So this is a structural piece that I pulled out. This holds uh, the dome light in place up there. And then this went above it and I literally had to cut it out of there so that I could make sure that I had plenty of room. But you can see that this is pretty rusted too. Turn it black here because I sprayed it with this uh, rust treatment, this inhibitor. And I'm going to end up having to rebuild this a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle um, putting that back together and making it stronger. But I want to put it back up in place. And then I'll probably use um, um, adhesive on here. I got a feeling that this may have been tacked in place. And that's why... This is all rusty. I'm not sure what was going on there, but I will do something here with some double back tape or something and then tack it back on uh, the original uh, places where it goes. Now, I'm not going to be filming a lot of this. Uh, it's just too hard for me to do the filming, cutting, and welding. But what I will is I'll break in every once in a while and show you the progress of what's going on with the van. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but I'm glad that I found it, and it's somewhat of an easy fix, and we'll see how that goes. I also was able to have some paint made up uh, right here. Our local uh, auto parts store had a machine that they can read the, read the actual color code on the, on the, the van itself. So hopefully I'll have a decent match. It's a one part, so I don't have to put a clear coat on it. So hopefully it'll work out. Anyway, I'll get back to you when I get a little further down the line here. Okay, a little update here. Uh, got the new piece in. This is the old piece that we cut out. And then I did a little practice weld just to make sure that I can set the welder at uh, the right temp. But anyway, there's the piece that's going in, so... I'm going to tack that in, and then I'll come back and show you what's going on with that. Oh, also, uh, I took out the side window here. 
so it'd be easier for me to get to the underneath when I need to get to it. I got this van all tore apart. All right, the patch is in. Got a ground down deal. So now I got to do is do the fill in with the putty and everything, kind of level it out. Just remember welding this stuff. This this stuff is really really thin. This material, I can't believe how thin the Japanese went on these. But yeah, it's what they uh, they drive around their country, I guess. But anyway, it's thin as heck, and uh, it's a little tough to weld. So be aware of that when you're welding this. Okay, so here's the other side. This is the passenger side here. So I've got it all lined out. I'm going to cut it out, and then over here. I've drilled out the bad spot and got in some good solid. So I'll come from underneath with a small plug and then weld that up and then fill it in. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, old pieces cut out, new pieces set in place. Um, I'm gonna tack this in with the welder and I'm not gonna film it because it, I don't know. I just, I don't want to mess up my camera. So anyway, when I get back after welding this in, I'll uh, update you on that. All righty then. This section is done, and then I patch the hole here. And what needs to be done now is this top needs to be clean and some filler put in, and filler put in and sanded, and make it look good little primer and paint it. Now I also did inside here, I got that all cleaned up, painted across there, and then we'll put the crossbar back in tomorrow. I did some repairs on it, and uh, I need to get some double back tape to hold that up into place on there. And then uh, once we'll put the other cross piece in and hopefully I can start doing some filler. All right, this is day three here. So I've got some uh, filler laid in there. I need to sand this out all the way across. And then I'm gonna need to have to scrub this whole surface down. I'm gonna use soap and water and then I'll get it all clean in here and then I can start shooting primer and everything on it. So let's get to it. I also want to point out that I don't have a lot of room overhead to be doing this because uh, this van sits a lot taller in the shop than I like. And I have an overhead loft that I need for storage. So uh, it's tight. But I can do it. Well, I got it sanded. Now I got to clean up my mess. I think I got a little bit of dust up here. It's not the smoothest. There's a little bit of warpage and everything in this, but it's up on top. This metal is so thin that when you heat it, it moves up and down and does whatever it wants. And I tried to stabilize it the best I could. But like I said, this is up on top. It won't be seen, but at least it won't leak. Okay, it's coming right along here. A little bit more sanding. I did clean the top up a little bit here. I'm gonna need to tape off this area on both, on both sides and then I'll lay plastic to keep the overspray down so that I can um, do this a little better. Uh, I'm going to need to sand this a little bit more here in places, but it's looking good. All right. I did the filler. Now I've got a primer coat that I'm putting on here. I need to do maybe one or two more coats. And this is a filler sanding primer, so, so it'll work out pretty good. It's looking better up here. 
Right, shooting the top coat. to tack and a cover and then I'm gonna let this kick off a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll do another one okay there we go it is somewhat done the match isn't the greatest but it's on top and I don't care and I never look up here unless I'm up in the rack which the rack will be covering this area but, I mean, it's somewhat close, but it may fade out. It wouldn't. I'm going to do a, a rub out on this later on. I'm letting it set off now, but uh, we'll see. So, there you go, people. Patching the holes in the roof. Well, I was also able to kind of do the exterior clean on this a little bit and get our cabin back together with the liner and everything put back into place. So, everything else is looking pretty good. Looks good in here. These things here are great. Got one of these at Harbor Freight. Let me end up getting another one. Pretty darn bright. Well, there you have it. We uh, successfully patched a hole in the roof of uh, Delica. Um, I mean, that was a heck of a hole along with the other little hole. To, uh, and got it painted and everything else. Um, of course, the paint didn't match quite, but like I said, it's up on top. I really don't care. I'm not going to be looking at it all the time. So, and the only, only ones that are going to see it are the birds flying by. So, but if you've liked this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that ringy dingy button for uh, the next episode coming up. So, this is Mr. Miyagi saying, be safe out there. Hope to see you on the road. Ciao.